Hello, my name is Ivana Allen and this is for Larry Dawson's CST 100 class and this is my informative speech. My speech is to inform others of the ancestry, dialect, and culture of the Cajun ethnic group. I'm actually half Cajun and from Louisiana, so I can offer a little bit more than your traditional book about the ancestry of the Cajun people. I've got a little bit more insight. This is the, a replica of the flag of the Louisiana Cajun community. Cajuns make up most of the southern Louisiana parks and have influenced the culture greatly. The Cajuns migrated from present-day Canada during the French and Indian War, which was between 1754 and 1763. There were other Cajuns that came from other locations and intermarried to include British, Spanish, German, Italian, Native American, and French Creole settlers. The language of the Cajun people is kind of a Cajun French. It's French, but it has a slightly different dialect than your traditional French. I grew up in Louisiana and they began teaching French in the fifth grade in elementary school. And when I would go home, my grandparents would speak French, but I couldn't interpret what they were saying because they had their own different dialect. And they typically would speak in that dialect when they were trying to say something they didn't want us to hear. The Cajun people are very religious, and traditionally they're Roman Catholic. And the term Mardi Gras, meaning Fat Tuesday, is actually a religious event. Most people think it's about beads and parades and nudity and candy and beer and things like that, but it's not. It's actually the day before Ash Wednesday, it's the beginning of Lent. It's a 40-day period of fasting and reflection in preparation for Easter Sunday. Mardi Gras was hysterically a time to use up food that could not be eating, eaten during Lent, such as fats, eggs, and meat. So that was often the misconception among people. They think that Mardi Gras is party time when actually it's religious based. The Cajun people are known to be very hard workers and at the same time they have a joy for living. After a hard day's work, the Cajun people can have fun with the rest of the people. A common phrase in Louisiana among the Cajun group is laissez le bon temps rouler, which is a French phrase meaning let the good times roll. There are over a thousand festivals a year in Louisiana that have good music, good food, lots of fun. The, the typical music you'll hear in Louisiana is jazz, blues, or zydeco. The uh, prominent instrument is a fiddle. And my favorite part of being Cajun is the food. Most Cajun farmers weren't very wealthy and therefore they wasted no part of a butchered animal. For example, they have a food called crackling, which is fried pork skin. Also a food named boudin. It is ground up leftover parts of the hog which is mixed with rice and formed into sausage or rolled into balls and then deep fried. It's absolutely delicious. Bell peppers, onions, and celery are known as the holy trinity of the Cajun cuisine. Other key ingredients include parsley, bay leaves, green onion, cayenne pepper, of course. One of my favorite dishes to make for my family is shrimp etouffee. It um, consists of a roux, which is kind of like a gravy um, that you might put on mashed potatoes, but it tastes nothing like that. And it has vegetables, onions, parsley, green peppers, yellow peppers, um, celery, of course, and it's served over rice. A favorite pastime in Louisiana is the crawfish boils. They hold these crawfish boils at schools and elementary. We had one every single year. What they do is they take the crawfish or the mud bugs, like some people call them, they put them into these big pots full of boiling water with seasonings, potatoes, onions, corn, 
and maybe a cayenne pepper or a Louisiana fish boil or Tony Cheshire seasoning. And they boil them up and serve them with the potatoes and the, excuse me, um, the corn. A um, favorite French Cajun dessert is a beignet. And what it is is a deep fried donut with a square shape or rectangle shape and it's doused in powdered sugar after it comes out of the fryer. So delicious. Now there's much more about the ancestry of the Cajun culture, but I only have seven minutes, so visit Louisiana. You'll have an experience of a lifetime and you'll have good food, good music, and you'll meet great Cajun people that you'll simply fall in love with. Thank you.